almost hard to describe the situation around here. It is so chaotic. The worst grade school shooting in U.S. history. <laughs> and then he came into the library and shot everybody around me. If there is even one thing that we can do to prevent any of these events, we have a deep obligation to try. Every 30 minutes in the United States, a child dies or is injured by a fire. Add that up over even a week and you get over 300 children, just children alone, injured or killed by a fire. That's a problem that I set out to solve. Hi, can we help you with anything at all today? Yeah, I'd love to look at one of your MPs here. There you go. What I've been working on for the last couple of years mm -hmm. is taking firearms and like making like a smart firearm. Mm -hmm. There's a fingerprint sensor setting right here. Mm -hmm. Smart firearms can only be fired by specific people. The system registers their fingerprint. Yeah, Pull some photos up here. So all the circuitry is on the inside yeah, of the grip, it's all basically. The so that means that if a child finds a firearm or if a police officer is disarmed, that firearm is completely useless. Interesting concept, certainly. Personally, I wouldn't feel comfortable with that. And let's face it, I mean, firearms have been used, you know, for many Hundreds centuries, years, yeah, and it's worked perfectly for an awful mm -hmm. lot of people, absolutely. Lone gunman opened fire. It's two young men in long black trench coats. Eight people shot in the school. I'm a senior in high school in Colorado. This whole project started my sophomore year of high school for the science fair. I set out thinking, what if I could do something about the problem of mass shootings? I lost my dad at Columbine High School. He was murdered by um, two boys that went to school there. He was a teacher for 25 years. He was a coach. He was a dad. He was a husband. It was unbelievable, that kind of pain. People can't understand. If they could understand, they would be doing things differently. I started to do some research and realized that mass shootings were mostly a psychological problem. But this larger problem of accidental deaths is something that I could solve with engineering. Kai was a maker before anybody in the world was talking about that we have a maker society. He learns by doing things. I've learned pretty much everything I know about engineering through my own internet research, you know, watching tutorials. We've never suggested that he do any of this stuff. It's all just come out of wherever passion comes from. My motivation for this entire project has always been that people aren't intentionally hurting children with firearms. It's almost entirely accidental. It's heartbreaking to see little kids being killed by guns accidentally and to have the little kids be the ones who are sometimes shooting the guns. It's heartbreaking. Unintentional uses of guns. It's inconceivable what it would be like to grow up for the three-year-old that reached in her mom's purse and pulled out the gun and shot her mom. The pain of that's inconceivable. This is my first prototype. Since then, I have developed a much more advanced prototype. If I put my finger on the sensor right here, it will fire for me. But if you try it, nothing happens. The only reason I have been able to progress further than just a plastic prototype is because of a grant I received recently from the Smart Tech Challenges Foundation. They generously awarded me a $50,000 grant to work on developing the prototype on an actual live firearm. All right, number one rule out here on the range is always keep the gun pointed in the right direction. My name is Jared Campbell, and we are at the Family Shooting Center. Here, I'm an operations manager. Before that, I was in the Marine Corps, 2nd Battalion, 3rd Marines, and did two tours in Iraq. What would be your thoughts on, you know, actually military applications for this? So, in the military, uh, pretty much mandatory, everybody wears clubs. I can tell you firsthand oh experience you. from being overseas that I didn't always shoot with a nice, high, proper grip. The unknown amount of variables that combat presents, people lose fingers and still have to continue fighting. Kai's got an uphill battle. This type of technology has been previously shunned, so anything new coming out is really gonna have to prove itself. Gun ownership is synonymous with being an American, so it's a big pride thing for us to be able to do this. Genuinely, I've been pretty optimistic about the whole thing. Let's keep going, you know, let's keep working on it. There's been times where the time commitment gets really hard. The demands of school, in addition to putting in 30 hours a week to make this a reality, he was worn out, he had health challenges, but nothing was gonna hold him back. 
Every moment that I'm not at school, I need to be working on this project because the sooner I can get it done, the sooner I can actually get this out there in people's hands, saving lives. My technology might not have specifically prevented the Columbine shooting, but it very well could have prevented any number of shootings since. For example, with the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting, those firearms used to commit that were stolen from the kids' parents. If the guns that were taken were equipped with my technology, they would have been completely unusable. I think that is, that's amazing. I think it can have a huge impact on reducing the number of memorials right. in the world. And although it's beautiful, I wish it weren't here. If we can reduce accidental deaths from firearms by 90%, then you know, that's 90% more families who get to come home to loved ones every single day. So. Wow, I like your optimism, but at, at this point, even one, because I don't want anybody to have to go to places like this to remember our loved ones. You are giving people the opportunity to sit with them and have dinner instead of come here and sit quietly and remember them. Over the course of this project, what's been driving me is just numbers on a piece of paper. After talking to you, this has given me a whole new level of motivation to continue this. This is about human lives. This has an incredible opportunity to make a tangible impact on not just my surrounding community, but potentially the entire country or the entire world. Anybody can have a positive impact on the world if they're willing to throw themselves into something. All you have to do is find something that you're passionate about, put the time in, and be willing just to put yourself out there. So, just start.